Continuing our study of exponential functions, we are going to get into graphing exponential functions. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to graph an exponential function. All right, now many of you have been through the explorations activity, but I'm just going to be going through some things just in case you have not, or just to recap from that activity. If we have an exponential function, just like um, if we have a linear function, we would use the equation y equals mx plus b. Well, if we have an exponential function, we are going to be using the equation y equals a times b to the x. All right, and what these things stand for, the a is going to be our starting amount we can also refer that as our y-intercept. So where's that graph going to touch the y-axis? And then our b is going to be our growth rate. Okay, what we have discovered is that if b is greater than one, our function is going to grow. So we'll have growth. And that we found that if b is less than one, if, actually if it's between zero and one, so it's going to be some sort of decimal like one hat, 0.5 or a fraction like one half or one third or something like that, we found that our function is going to decay or the graph will go down, right? So we are going to use this information that I just wrote down to help us graph this. So we're first of all going to start with y equals three to the x. Okay, so we'll make that look like y equals three to the x and I encourage you to color code yours as well. All right, so we've got three to the x. There's no number in front of here. And if there's nothing in front of here, there's just an invisible one. And since there's an invisible one, we know our starting amount, our y-intercept is going to be one. So that's where that first graph whoop, is going to start, okay? And then the growth rate is three to the x. So the growth rate is three, which, which means it's bigger than one, which actually means this is tripling. So my function is growing. So what this is going to be looking, it's going to start off pretty small and then it's going to whoop, grow. So it's going to look something like that. It will approach zero as we get farther down there because it's going to start off really small and then shoot up because it's going. To, my values are going to be tripling. All right, next graph, y equals 0.3 to the x. On this one, you'll notice there is not, again, another starting amount. There's no number in front, one something times 0.3 to the x. So we can just assume it's one. So again, once again, my graph is going to start at one. And then 0.3 is a decimal that is less than one. So we know our function is not going to grow, it's going to decay, which means it's probably going to start out pretty big, but then it's going to just get smaller. So we're still gonna get through one, and eventually it's going to get really close to zero because it's gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's what the second one would look like. Okay, the third one, y equals four times three to the x. So we've had, you'll notice this one, the starting amount is four. So we're actually going to start this graph up at four. One, two, three, four. Let's put it out there. And then again, my growth rate is three. So we know that we're going to grow. And since it has the same growth rate as number one, we're going to try to have the same steepness as that one. So we're gonna to try to keep that same steepness. And again, it will eventually just head off towards zero. So that's what the third one will look like. And then the fourth one is y equals six to the x. All right, so if we have six to the x, you'll notice again, we don't have anything in front, which means our starting amount is an assumed one. So we'll start at one again. And then from here, my growth rate is six. It is going to grow because that number is bigger than one. But if I compare it to the blue function, the three to the x, since six is bigger, six, it, this one is going to grow faster. So I need to make a steeper. So it's still gonna start way down at zero but then it needs to be steeper than my blue graph. So it's going to look something like that. All right, now we're going to do some practice. What I'm going to ask that you do on these ones is I am going to go ahead and fill in the problems and then I'd like you to pause the video and I'd like you to work the four problems out. And then when you're done, I'd like you to replay the video and check your work. So let's just read through this. It says, use your knowledge about exponential functions to graph the four exponential functions below on the same graph. Make sure you label each graph. Either you label it one, two, three, four, or you color code it. Also, make sure each graph crosses the y-axis at the correct location, and we will not be using graphing calculators on this problem. So please, at this time, whoops, I need to put some numbers up there for you. Okay, so let's fill in the numbers first. We're going to have y equals three times two to the x. The second one will be y equals two to the x. My third one will be y equals one half to the x. And my fourth one will be y equals five to the x. So please pause the video at this point in time and then come back when you are done. 
Okay, I'm going to start with this first one. It says y equals 3 times 2 to the x. My starting amount will be 3, so I'm going to start by touching the x-axis at 3. And then my growth rate is 2, which means my function is going to grow because that value is bigger than 2. So we're going to start off pretty small, head through that point, and then we need to grow. There we go. So that's number one. Okay, my second graph, y equals 2 to the x. Since there's nothing in front of there, it's an assumed 1. And so that means my graph starts at 1, so we need to touch the y-axis at 1. And then my growth rate is 2. So it had the same growth rate as in problem number 1, so it's going to grow. Try to grow it at the same rate here. So we're going to start off pretty small, and then we just want to try to keep that same growth. So that's going to be my second graph. Okay, graph 3 is going to be y equals 1 half to the x. Again, there's nothing in front, which means we start at 1. So we're going to start on the y-intercept at 1. And then since my growth rate is 1 half, that's a number smaller than 1. So I know instead of growing, I'm going to decay. So we're going to start off big and get small. So we're going to start off big, and then we're going to get small and approach 0. Which we should approach a little bit. Let me see if I can get down more towards that axis. There we go. So that's graph number 3. And graph number four, we have y equals 5 to the x. And on this one, again, since there's nothing in front, the starting amount is 1. So we'll start on the y-axis at 1. And then my growth rate is 5, so that's going to, first of all, grow. And it's going to actually grow bigger than 1 and 2 because the growth rate is bigger. So when I make it grow, I need to make it grow bigger than the green graph, grow faster. So and grow it faster and there we go so those are all four graphs hopefully you did a fabulous job